frenzy. I'm here to break down the workout of the day or the water of the day for November 30th. We have a full jam-packed workout to do um, with strength, some cardio, and also abdominal work. You will need a BOSU ball, so grab it from the gym, and a heavy weight, one single heavy weight. When I say heavy, I mean heavy, okay? We're doing our strength base with purpose and slow and moving, um, really functional, okay? We're loading those muscles up today. Starting off with the warm-up, I'm just gonna go through the exercise, demonstrate the ones that I feel that would have some questions, and we'll go from there. So the warm-up, you have five airplane with arm reach to knee tuck, that's a word pull. So, hinging, standing on one leg, you're gonna reach forward, toe faces down, arms come up by the ears, tap the floor to knee tuck, okay? Five repetitions on each side. Second stretch is the world's greatest stretch. You're gonna step forward with the right foot, left hand comes down beside it. Right elbow in between on your next breath, Right hand, fingertips, gaze follows. Then you're gonna split the front foot, straighten the front leg, and step forward, all right? Going into the strength part, we have an intermediate option and an advanced option. You do not have to do both. Feel free to mix and match um, whatever exercise you feel comfortable. The first one is forward lunge. You're gonna use the one weight we're gonna load the inside. So if I'm on my right plunge, I'm gonna hold it in my left hand. I'm just stepping forward in the forward lunge and then back. Advanced is a forward lunge on the BOSU ball. This adds some instability in that knee. So make sure you're in control with this movement. Move nice and slow. So foot is on the BOSU ball, knee is active, foot is active. You're going down and up. Knee just hovers over the floor, you're not slamming it down. 10 repetitions of every single exercise in the strength portion. Once you're all the way through, you'll go back through and do eight, and then six, and then four. The next movement is a goblet squat. Goblet meaning you are holding the weight or um, at your chest, either this way or up here, it does not matter. Your chest should be tall, feet shoulder width apart, toes forward, knees over those shoelaces, down, and up. You can also add an external cue if you are wanting to. If you're challenging yourself with that range of motion, you can stand on the side and touch your glutes. Just tap the glute to the BOSU ball. Option B, which is more advanced, you can load it as well um, at the chest or unload it. We're taking some instability here. Just a body weight squat, hands come forward and stand up tall. Okay, the next exercise is a glute bridge on the floor. Bosu ball is coming down, feet are elevated. You can also add the dumbbell to the hips. Dig those feet into the ball, hips rise, rotating about the xiphoid process on the rib cage. Glutes are squeezed, nice straight line from through the hips and through the knees. Option B is a single leg. You do one at a time. Bottoms of the shoe towards the ceiling, raising up, pausing at the top, of course, then pausing at the bottom on the way down, okay? The next thing is a plank row or moving on to the cardio. You have two options, a plank walk out with a row or a burpee to a press, whatever you feel more comfortable doing. Plank walk out to row, you're gonna grab that BOSU ball, we're placing it down on the floor, squatting, hands come down, walk out to a plank, back to a squat, grab the BOSU, elbows in, row to the chest, back down, out, out, in, in, up, row. Option two is a burpee to a press, hand, BOSU ball comes down, hands are flat, jumping out to a plank, down on the chest, up, squat, press the BOSU up, okay? This is for repetitions for every minute on the minute. So you're gonna, every single minute that that goes by, you will do the cardio exercises itself. The toe taps around the world, you have 10 toe taps total. 
um, 20 total or 10 on each leg. Make sure we're switching directions. Quick feet, nice and tapping the BOSU ball. Um, working on our agility a bit. Keep those arms active. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. The third movement is mountain climbers. Same concept. You can do them on the floor or on the ball for some instability. Hands are nice and flat. You're going to do knee drives. One, two, three, four. Okay, or 20 total. Um, make sure your shoulders are stacked on top of that BOSU ball. You're very stable in the upper body. Not much movement going on. Into the abdominal work. The first movement is a boat pose. I know you did this in Wade's workout, um, but we're gonna add some instability with it. On the BOSU ball, you're gonna sit nice and tall. You're gonna lean back, palms up. Shins parallel with the floor. Um, it will be hard or you can drop those feet down and stare forward. The next thing is a cross body to elbow crunch. So we're gonna scoot our butts down a little bit so that low back is on the ball. Right leg over, left, left arm, right arm is on the belly. You're crossing the elbow over to meet the opposite knee, okay? You'll do it from here and then switch sides. This adds extra stretch for the abdominals. It also adds, of course, instability. You have an elbow plank to a leg lift. So we are going onto the BOSU ball. On our elbows, add instability. You can do this on the floor too. Push through those heels, leg lift, pause, then lower. Pause, then lower. All right? And then finally, we have a swimmer, face down, head is neutral, opposite arm, opposite leg, raise. From the glutes, straighten those legs, up, hold, and down. Opposite, up, hold, and down. Good, work in that posterior chain. Going into these stretches, we have a seated toe touch and reach, so nice and tall, flat back, Hands by the knees, lean forward, hinging at the hips. You're gonna hold here for 30, and then you're gonna round and reach as far as you can for 30. Then you have knees to chest, so grab those knees, roll back, holding here, pressing the low back into the floor for 30 seconds. Recline butterfly, um, soles of the feet come in, knees go wide, one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. You're holding here, focus on your breath, um, deep breaths and relax and then you have a corpse pose palms up towards the ceiling really take the time here to reflect on how your workout made you feel and what you have for the rest of the day hope you guys have fun let the staff members know if you have any questions at all thanks